Hello, beautiful souls. Oh my goodness, 777 portal today. What a powerful time. And oh, let's just take this time to commend this energy. We've just had a full moon in Capricorn that kind of just zipped us all up for this pragmatic foundational aspect of self-love. We had the sun in Cancer, which is on that opposing opposite side. I don't like saying opposing, but opposite side of Capricorn saying, hey, this is how you are moving forward with money and with love, okay? What are you putting forth? What are the foundations that you are implementing? How are you getting real with your life? How are you getting real in general? Saturn and Pisces in general is putting it all together for us or ripping it all apart for us and saying, get real. What is it that you're going to do? What's the action? And of course, in tandem with whatever, wherever your Pluto is and wherever all of your other planets are, that's going to signify and dictate how your life is going to go moving forward in terms of energy, okay? My chart is highly based around, well, actually, there's a lot of, um, well, it's highly based around love and money right now as well, like, like corporation money. And, um, there's also been a huge just spiritual just shift, okay, within my chart, within the transits, within my soul, of course, and everything that's in alignment, huge shift to the point of, hey, like we might read the Bible to start researching a little more <laughs> because everything that's been kind of curating and happening for me has been very spiritual and very empowering and the more and more deeper I get the more I'm like we should probably know a little bit more about what we were studying when we were little and I was like rolling my eyes let's get to the foundation of that and start deriving some actual opinions from the things that were kind of forced down our throat so that's what I'm going through anyway though anyway <laughs> So anyway, um, 777, today has been the launch of the Unconditional Self-Love Online Course, and it's been just so exciting. It's been exciting seeing people check into it, look at it, um, you know, decide whether they want to implement them this for themselves, because you know, self-work and this timed and just planned self-time is... It comes in the form of many, many, many ways. You can journal for an hour. That's a super long time. But hey, if you do that, great. You can journal. You can read. You can go for a walk. You can sit at your altar and thank every single piece that you have on there and give it purpose and derive some intention within it of why it's on an altar at all within your house, within your home. Um, you can do some intuitive stretching, turn on some music, get into a dance flow, be all wild and do what, do whatever within your body movement that you can do and would do if no one else is watching. Okay. If you're past that level of your ascension, just do it in general. You don't have to even think about no one watching because you don't care. <laughs> self-love unconditional self-love is so beautiful because it truly drives you into that that kind of seat that cusp of authenticity like mindless authenticity and I'm gonna try really hard throughout the the education of this did not like toot my horn so much but I'm telling you I've always loved myself I've always been this like authentic expression of a human being and but in turn I have shadows well I had shadows about that because that's different it's wildly different it's so different and weird and wild to love yourself that people think you're weird and wild okay <laughs> it's it's quite the phenomenon, you know, and we're actually, we're going to get down to all of it on my channel. We are going to do a lot of human design based around it, a lot of energetics based around it, a lot of everything getting to the base of society 
we're within this society. And I want to tell you guys and kind of like re-blow your mind about this or just, just bring it up in general. We are within a society and this spiritual plane is ever present. It is here, okay? There is a spiritual world. Everything we do is spiritual. Everything we we exist within we're animals in the spiritual plane okay and the energies they they matter so you take this spiritual realm and then you plop this society right on top of it you plop these different neighborhoods right on side inside of it you put all these rules and values and things to to pay attention to and do because other people before us said that this is the right way and then kept it that way for many 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 years without upgrading it or even looking at the fact that we just made this all on some spiritual ass ground <laughs> uh but we're just gonna ignore it because you know whatever <laughs> we get to the bottom of that we talk about about the reality that if you are of free thought, if you are an independent soul released from capitalism and released from the values and the institutions that told you who you are, then you are no longer controllable, moldable, uh, consumer, and therefore you are you're pretty useless to the society in their eyes. And I need you to understand that and to know that and move forward with discernment as you get higher within your spiritual journey and your spiritual practice of how much you want to participate in this thing. Because there are two, there are two realms and two worlds, but there's only one that there's only one where both exist. Only within the spiritual realm does the material exist as well. You cannot, I mean, we can't be here. We can't just ignore the fact that there's a capitalist society going on or all these different societies going on you can't ignore it you can't just spirit it away you can't just pray it away you can't just disillusion your mind to it not existing so what you always want to do is just accept that is that it exists and find your purpose within it what are you here for? Me personally, through my spiritual journey, I have learned and relearned coming to my power that I am here to literally light up the other souls. I am here to help other people love themselves so that they exude the light, the power within them to the next soul and to the next soul and to the next soul. And all of those souls bring their light home. And then those people bring their light to their circles. And those circles bring their light to, to all of their other circles. And all of a sudden, we're just in this, th this vibrationally balanced, unconditional love unconditional self-love so by me existing within my authenticity my truth and not swaying i show others that it is okay to be unswaying to be unconditional with self i'm that way and i accept that i'm that way and i accept that and i intend on working on it i'm that way and i intend on working on it though I am accepting it for now. There are just so many ways to truly just accept yourself as who you are without looking outward and being like, help me, you know, give me validation. I need you to the other souls because what do you think they're doing? They're worried about themselves. They want the validation too. They want to know if they're doing okay. And you know what? If you're sitting there doing okay, you're in your high vibration, all of a sudden you're walking outside talking about everything's okay and that everything's going to be fine. And look who it's, who it's just jumping off of. Look at who it's impacting. Look at your impact just by loving yourself and stepping your butt outside. Just literally you, you just, you walk differently. You breathe differently. You, you put yourself into the world much differently when you unconditionally love yourself. So, <sighs> As you can tell, I'm very, very passionate about this subject. I love it so much. And I'm going to be talking a lot about it. It's going to get so old. And you know what? <laughs> the thing is, is that unconditional self-love is the key. It literally is the key. It is the key. Like...
when I first started writing this book and this online course, it wasn't as big as it is. Like, a, it wasn't such an epiphany to me as it is today. Like, when I wrote it, I was like, oh, yeah, totally. I'm really good at teaching self-love. I love myself. And so I'm just going to make sure that um, I teach other people how to love themselves. As I'm writing the chapters, I get to the realization of this is the foundation of everything. Everything. Everything exists based on how you perceive yourself. If you feel unworthy, you will attract unworthy. I'm telling you, if you do not believe you can succeed in something, you will not succeed. You may surprise yourself and have little wins every now and then, but if you're constantly going back and telling yourself why you don't deserve to succeed in something or even just complaining when you do succeed, oh man, it's going to get drawn back. You're going to get that lesson. You're going to get that lesson that comes in and says, excuse me? You're lacking gratitude here. Well, let's get to the bottom of it. Let's figure this out. Why are you lacking gratitude in this moment? And why are you not basking in the fact that you are a human? You are a soul in a human body. Like, yes, you got to handle that that capitalist thing that was pulling at you, pulling at you, and it was annoying. But what is the rest of your day? Remember, you're on spiritual land, meaning you must be a spiritual being. So what are you doing for your spiritual being to become a higher vibration within the spiritual being land? Okay. <laughs> I came to a download yes, uh, earlier today. And when I say download, I speak out loud. I just talk. Um, I'm the person at the park talking to myself because I'm just allowing the downloads to come without um, without my human bias, because what do I know? <laughs> like, like, what do I know? So, um, that's why I do want to get to a thousand TikTok followers so I can start going live so that I can just bam, turn it on and then tell all the people. But for now, all I have is good old YouTube. And right now we are over there at 160. 162 followers many many to go so if you're watching this follow me on tiktok and we're just about to just join all the other amazing people on there but i do know that there's a small few of us who are here to rise the consciousness of the collective and so you know help me do that help me reach the people that's been my motto for the last week is or for the last year is pour into the people pour into the people and i kind of tried to ignore the social media part i've been doing it in more my community more which is good um but i'm like whoa i could reach way more people if i actually stayed consistent on on social media so if you're here watching this I feel just so grateful for you to be here and so much, so much love. I would love for you to like this video. If you're enjoying my vibes, you're enjoying the purpose, the, the intention here and uh, yeah, share it with someone, you know, do the whole thing, do the whole thing. <laughs> I would love it. So yeah, I just really wanted to talk about just how foundational and intense unconditional self love truly is one moment oh, what a day it's been what a day so anyway unconditional self-love it's this foundation of being able to exist on this plane where you are unswayable you trust yourself you have the discipline to put yourself in the situations that are going to get you to your next level and you trust yourself to do so because you feel worthy enough to do so you're confident in yourself because you trust yourself and accept yourself and now, when you do vibrate on this on this plane of foundational consciousness, when you vibrate on that level, the things that may have swayed you before, may have ignored you before, or ignited something within you before, just holds nothing, nothing. You might find yourself just unfazed or even just being an observer more of life, just watching life and being like, whoa cool or interesting or oh <laughs> rather than being like i ascribe this to this i believe this about this i i i you don't need you don't need i and essentially that's what spirituality is is getting back 
to the soul place, the soul person, and not so much the human body. Within our human bodies, we say, you know, I want things this way. I need things this way. This is how I intend to. When you when you begin your journey and continue your journey of unconditional self-love, you realize that you're not the one in control. You realize that you can surrender to the will of the universe. And by doing that, you literally trust yourself. You are trusting yourself. I will always align with the things, the values, the traits, the actions that are going to align with me. And if I've tested that and I indeed don't align with the best things that are for me, then there are some things that I have to get to the bottom of. Let's start with some questions. What is it that you think is holding you back? This is not a brainstorming thing. You know it. You should know it off the top of your head. And if you don't know what's holding you back, then you, you, you're going to need more and more time with yourself asking these questions. Ask yourself questions. Why? So you, you, you vibrate with the, the lifestyle of being a millionaire. Straight up, ask yourself, self, why am I not a millionaire by now? What is it that's going to get me there? What timeline do I intend to do this? If I wanted to be a millionaire, then why am I not there right now? Ask yourself the hard ones. Even try to get into the mindset of if someone were to try to make you mad about the topic, what question would they answer? You're doing literal shadow work with yourself by asking yourself these questions. And I commend you to ask or to answer, honestly, don't lie to yourself. I'm telling you now, lying to yourself is just going to prolong the whole experience. Be as raw as possible. That's what this is about. If you can't be authentic with yourself, then you cannot be authentic to others. If you can't love yourself, you cannot love others. All you're doing is pushing out a perceived energy when you are loving without first the foundation of self-love. You're reading about love. You're, you're seeing love in with other people and how they act with their love. And all you're seeing all these examples. You're seeing TV. You're reading books. You're filling your head as this young soul, this young human, definitely not young soul, young human. And you're saying, this is what love is. Love is this. Love is this. Love is a commodity. Love is something I want. I felt love before. That's what it looked like. That's what it felt like. So that must be what it looks like going forward. And your brain gets involved and everything is involved and is just saying, this is love and this is how it acts. And if it's outside of this, then that means it's not really love. And, you know, humans love dualities. They love having a polar opposite side of like, this is how love is. And that's how love is not. And it's like, we are also a existence of spectrums. There's no black and white here. And I don't understand why people can't, can't conceptualize multiple options, like multiple options. We don't need a polar opposite on everything that we talk about. We don't need, there's a spectrum of love. There are all kinds of loves and yeah, there was this phrase I heard, like, why is like, this person on TikTok? And he's like, he's like, why don't we call the same love that we love our person as the same love of like loving a Dorito? <laughs> I love this Dorito. And I also love my person. It's like, it's so much deeper than that, you know, it's so much deeper. But anyway, so love is expressed through actions. Um, love can be descriptions of words all they want, but actions are really how we perceive love. And so when you think about self-love and what actions you can do for yourself, what do you come up with? Think about actions you can do for yourself, for your self-love. You've probably, I mean, I've given you examples as well, but you've probably heard so many things like run a bath, go on a walk, um, go to the beach. Oh my gosh. Your brain is going to get really involved when it comes to the beach stuff. I encourage you to just get in the car and autopilot there because once you're there, once you're parked, once you're on the sand and you're watching the waves, it's worth it. Do not let your brain talk you out of 
what's to come on the way to the beach because it, it might be far there's going to be parking there's going to be so many things that are going to be like oh i'm not going to go to the beach because it's going to be super busy blah 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 stop get your butt there and that goes for really anything like if you feel the call if you say self what do i want today and then yourself says I want to go to a baseball game. And then your brain's like, I don't want to go to a baseball game. That's ridiculous. It's going to be this and blah, blah, blah. You said you wanted to go to a baseball game. What are you doing to get your butt to that baseball game? Stop. <laughs> and this, this coincides with human design and following your authority. My, my authority is my ego and I've been master. Well, it's my heart center. And I've been mastering that for the past years of literally asking myself, what do you want, Melanie? What do you want? Well, I could do anything. Well, no, what specifically do you want? Well, what I really want to do is get some canvas and paint and then some leaves from outside and paint the canvas and then put the leaves on there with like the gold, blah, 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 all of blah, blah. Do it. Go do it. Go do it. Okay. You don't need a reason. You don't need a backup and you don't need somebody validating it you don't have to even tell your partner you're gonna do it literally do it help yourself to life help yourself to this beautiful delicious life because it's all out there for you and it's all yours and when you unconditionally self or you unconditionally love yourself it's non-negotiable non-negotiable i show up for myself Every day. There's not a day that is not mine. Every day is mine. And it's not selfish. It's not, well, it is self-centered. Um, it's divinely selfish. And it's it's going to be all of, those, all of those things that people say. You, 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 you only care about you. I don't only care about me. I care about me and I care about you. You know, we can both exist. We all can exist. And the more that you love yourself, the more you can love. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm just going to be talking so much about this. I'm just so excited. So let me like show, let me give you guys a little bit about the course. The course is 10 weeks long. It's 10 weeks and it's so powerful. It goes through, I have all of the questions that you need to answer yourself. All of the questions, okay? We start off with self-recognition, which is the first the first module, it's free. It's free for everybody. It's free for you to take that self-recognition course. It's six days. There are videos, voice recordings. There are worksheets you can download and a mandala you can color in. That's a little bonus. I just got excited and added that in. Um, mindfulness sessions. And you're really going to bring light to how you look at yourself, how you notice yourself how you notate yourself, because the next module is self-judgment. You might see and start understanding and realizing the, the, um, the language that you tell yourself. There are so many words I wanted to say. Uh, the language that you use to speak to yourself. Is it positive? Is it negative? Are you judging yourself? What are you judging yourself on? There's so many things, so many self judgments that come up. Even for me, like I'm, I'm an observer of my life, so I, I get to watch these human processes happen while existing on the spiritual plane. And so I'll be in alignment with what I'm doing, and I'll, I'll, I'll hear one of the thoughts that comes up to try to, try to just make waves in my day, and I'm like. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> first of all, who are you talking to? <laughs> Second of all, like, I'm so past that. Like, uh, yeah. So for instance, I lost my cat, my, my angel baby. I love him so much, but he's literally right here next to me um, in April. And so to kind of throw me off in June, these recurring thoughts would come up of, Oh, you're never going to see him again. You're never going to hold him like that again. You're never going to bump little, bump heads with his little head again. You're like that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, how does this contribute to my well-being on this day? Do I need to hear this? Do I need to think about this? Do I need to take time to think about? No, but I'm here as an observer of interesting interesting that you try to drop that on me right now when I'm trying to write an online course that releases July 7th interesting timing and then I just keep typing like <laughs> 
when you start seeing like little little things come up for you like that, oh my gosh, you are the superpower of your life. And that comes from unconditional self-love. It's like getting cut off in traffic, getting a red light. I have a lot of driving analogies. Um, getting a red light and being like, oh, woe is me. Why do I have a red light? Just, you know, red lights happen on days. And this is the day that a red light happens for me right here. La, 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 here I go. Like <laughs> everything is just not, it's not that intense to have to like dive into it like on site. But if you do run into something that you do want to dive into on site, by all means, make the space, have the grace for yourself, have the forgiveness for yourself because you're not perfect. We're not perfect. Spiritual beings, like the highest I have ascended, I have more and more and more. There's always so many levels to ascend. Stay a student of your life. Continue to be curious of what life can bring you. That is like one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you. If you are watching a video right now about an online course, I mean, wow, first of all, somebody, some, the type of person who commits to an online course, first of all, already has like some built in discipline in there and like some kind of, um, some kind of point of, I want to, I, this is it. I want to help myself. I want to get to the bottom of who I am. And, and I get that. I hope that I come across somebody who never thought of it, who never thought of an online course because that's the biggest, uh, that's the biggest just advice I can give you is to continue to learn on this plane and stay curious about life. Stay curious about how much better life can be. Stay curious about how much powerful, how much more powerful you can be. That download I was about to talk about earlier, it came back. So it comes to the understanding of, okay, when people are like, okay, no, I get that we're on a spiritual plane. I get that we are human beings and human beings, our we are existences. And I get that humans have powers. Some people are psychic. Some people do this. Some people read energies. Some people move energies. Some people can read minds. Some people can move air and flames. Some people can, uh, some people are just like, like, deadly creative like creative people we can just think of something and freaking make it happen that is magic as fuck like that's so cool like to have a download one day it was like april 27th or something that it was like online course and i was like okay uh da -da -da -da, and it kept flowing out two months ago that was two months ago. It, is, it just blows my mind. Now I have like this, this 50 plus page book that I just wrote and it's just really cool. Um, so the download is this, <laughs> to be of that knowledge, to understand that knowledge, and then to still continue within a loop, within a realm of where you think life is supposed to be based on what other people have told you. What have you done to find your power? If humans are powerful, we're on the spiritual realm. What about you? What about you? Why aren't you special? Why can't you have a power? Where is your power? How will you know? How will you know that you are going to happen upon this power? <laughs> this is my, <laughs> you can't even see it. These are my notes from my unconditional self love launch. And it has all the modules on it. Get to know yourself, okay? Get to know yourself. I never would have known about like energy healing and and just power integration within energy channels. And I still have so much to learn, but I never would have gotten there if I didn't try to learn more about myself and that's what I wanted I always I just wanted to get to the bottom of myself I truly have mastered my mind <laughs> that's why I call it melamind because my my I I have a very powerful mind um 
and I'm very blessed and grateful. And I know that I'm here with these powers because I'm here to spread it and to teach you all. It is not exclusive to me. I am an anomaly. I am a very small percentage, okay? I'm a manifester. I am an ego ego heart center manifester, which is even smaller. I I have many things. I have many, many things that continuously put me in a smaller and smaller box every time I look. And I'm like, I'm literally so rare and it's so annoying, but it's like, it's how I'd like it. It's how we'd like it. But all that to say, you can be this too. I mean, you can love yourself too. You can unconditionally just go out there and love yourself, spread the light to every single person you meet and enjoy this life because you're you're literally here to enjoy it. And I want to ask you just, why not you? Why not you? You see someone frolicking in the field and you're like, ha ha, so silly frolicking. That's what humans do. Go frolic, okay? Do yourself a cartwheel, okay? Buy yourself an ice cream cone on the beach. Yourself an ice cream cone on the beach like do things for yourself don't hold things off for relationships i used to be in a whole relationship wanting something like something would call out to me i want to do this and this and this and then i'd say no i can't go because my boyfriend doesn't want to go and then i just would sit at home with the boyfriend or sit at home and not do the thing because the boyfriend can't come because i wanted to do it and it's like no 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 no, <laughs> no more of that. If you want to do something, get your butt out there and do it. You don't need a friend. You don't need a boyfriend. It's nice with those things, but please do it yourself. This is about self-love. 777, get into the groundedness of your spirituality within your love, within yourself, within your money. Because it's 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 all here. It's all right here within you. And if I didn't make it clear, this is your source, your being, who you are is right here. Your universe, it's right here. And I'm not saying you're God. I'm not saying you're the universe. I'm not saying you're just this higher power, but you are the higher power in your life. Like, stop, stop it. Stop right now giving it to everybody else, okay? We're not letting go and letting God, okay? We're letting go of the need to know, stepping into the driver's seat of the action points that it's going to take to get there, and then allowing trust, acceptance, determination, and, and values, self-worth, and confidence to guide you for the rest of the way. You don't need to overthink, overplan. You literally just get to be because you are the source of the power. You are the replenishing. You're the cup. Fill your cup every single day before you even step out into any kind of community, any kind of world. Because when you step outside with that love, with that, that full cup, what are you going to do? You're not seeking anything. It's all here already. You're not, you don't need anything. All you're doing is emptying it out, giving it to people, giving it, emptying it, emptying it. Maybe someone else who filled theirs fills yours back up a little bit. And then you keep on giving, you keep giving, and then fill. Other people are filling, you're giving, you're giving. And then the exchange is like exhausting. It's like time to go, man. It's time to go home. <laughs> not gonna lie so go home have your little nap have your time get out of that energy and recharge refill the next day refill the next day yeah i love that refill your cup on your own that's all you need mm -mm. yeah so i hope you enjoy this um please know that i'm i'm just i just be talking this is all from the soul, all from the self. This is about like three talks in. I have many downloads all day, all day long. I do also believe that I heal people in my dreams um, because it keeps going. It goes and goes. The downloads of self-love and like coaching and stuff. Like I, I have dreams of telling people this stuff. I think that in my dreams, I'm literally like <laughs> giving people coaching 
And yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what all of that is about. It's going to take more discovery, but I just, I feel like I'm a dream healer. My dreams have always been really realistic. And um, yeah, so for that, I mean, along with that, I, I enjoy the, the term seer just so much. I mean, I read more into seer and the, the, uh, the whole prophet thing and the direct connection to, to God specifically and the direct connection to source. I do feel like a connect, a direct connection to source, to universe. Um, know that the way that my values are and the, who I am, I'm not going to be all, oh God and Christ and Christ, the, I'm not Christian. I'm not, I don't ascribe to any religion, um, at all. Actually, I know that might be disappointing to some people, but it is what it is. Uh, I literally got here to this level of spiritual enlightenment by loving myself. <laughs> this all has been a somewhat selfish track. I wanted to master myself, master my mind. And the very things that I put within this online course are the very things I did with myself. And I said, you're going to do this. If someone's calling out something on you, figure out what it is. Like get to the bottom of it. Ask yourself that question because you got a little heated when they asked you, why'd you get a little heated? <laughs> and then I'll sit there. I'm like, hmm, why did I? Well, it could be this, but I don't even care about that anymore. And it's like, mm -hmm, what's the attitude? Oh, well, it's not really an attitude. It's just the fact that blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I go through the whole thing with myself. And and I get a lot of, some people can't do that. And that's why I'm a coach. Hire me. Let's go. If you're ready to dive deep, if you're ready for the questions, I'm tough. I'm a tough tough love. I am not going to coddle you because if I get a message from the divine, from the universe that tells me, send this to them, I have to, I can't be human and freaking cut that off before you. That's your message. And it's just so important for you to be ready before you come to me. And when I say ready, I just mean, are you, are you done? Are you done with this that you've put together and that you are up until today? Good job up until today. Uh, are you ready for the next level of yourself is really what you would ask yourself. Ask yourself that tonight. Say, am I ready for the manifestations I've been putting forth? Am I ready for this grand life? And do me a favor, if you are watching still, comment, I am ready for this grand life. And if you could, capitalize all of grand, this grand life. <laughs> I'm very theatric. Um, also, please like and share and subscribe because we are getting to the bottom of unconditional self-love. Go to melamind.com slash self-love and get going on your on your online course, okay? I want to know how it goes. I want to know. Oh my God. <laughs> I woke up today so giddy, so excited that it's 7-7. It's the launch of my online course and <sighs> It's just a beautiful thing. And I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy we're all here. And I'm happy to raise your day in any way I can. Yeah. <laughs> That's the vibe today. I have a client very soon. So I'm going to get started on getting this uploaded onto YouTube. So have a wonderful day. Um, love yourself. <laughs>